Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RNA Music. That's right. Deep in the heart of Texas. Yeah. It's where we are. Mm -hmm. And this is my real voice. It is. <laughs> and it's my real voice. This is no. really who no I am. No voiceovers. Yeah. And uh, we're here to answer your questions. So, excited? Let's get to it. Okay. First question. First question, Todd Bogley, Angela, have you seen the crocheted full child body predator costume on Facebook? No. It's I pretty cool. I have, I saw it. I have not. Out. I'm surprised no one has tagged, tagged, you tagged in me it? in it. Everybody tagged have you. They? I don't think so. They tagged me in everything. What's funny is that people will tag me in like, oh, look at this cute little baby outfit. And then in the newsfeed, people will see that and they don't realize that I've already been tagged in it and more than likely they're seeing me being tagged in it and then they tag me again and then they'll tag me and I'll have like 10 of people are like, have you seen? That's my bad. I'm so sorry, it is eight o'clock right now. PM, Texas time, Thursday. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And what, and then I'll get. <laughs> yeah, yes. on the lips. It was sloppy and nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna watch it on YouTube. Shut up, children. Um, so, uh, so I'll get like 10 tags for the same thing over and over again. And I'll be like, yeah, I saw it. Haha, <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> it's cute. I hate it. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, leave me alone. That's like these videos. I had like a Darth Vader guy sitting on the corner. Uh -huh. 10 people tagged me. Hey, Paul, you seen this bass video? Hey, Paul. Yeah. Hey, hey Paul. Yes. <laughs> Every base video. There. So, um, no, but I have not seen that. And I'm surprised all of these guys, y'all guys, have not. I haven't me in seen it. it. I figured someone tagged you already. Mm -mm. I hadn't even seen it. Now they will. You should make that. <laughs> Send it to somebody like, I'm not putting my baby in that. What <laughs> Who would dress their baby in that? That would be a great little Halloween, oh, Halloween costume. Cool. Yeah. Little girl looks excited wearing it. It's a girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a girl predator because <laughs> girls are killers too. Wouldn't it be hilarious yes, if like are. the whole race of predators were actually women? <laughs> ah, that'd be awesome. Plot twist. That'd be great. They have a predator women. There mm -hmm. are predator it'd be girls because you couldn't have predator babies without them. No. No, they do cloning. If they were like am cloning. Am amphibious. Or amphibious. what is it called? Anamorphous. <laughs> Ambiguous. We're getting it wrong. Anyways, um, no, I have not. They're like frogs that could be um, male or female. Yeah. yeah. Amphibians. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks, Todd. Paul, have you ever used both headphone jacks on your Focusrite interface? Hope all is well, y'all's way. I thought you said there was one question. Hashtag KTMI. Apparently, well, this one just popped up. Oh. Yes. We had already printed. It just popped up and was printed and was brought over here and was never brought up in the conversations that we just had until just now. We already printed the question once, then literally just like five minutes ago, Todd Bogley wanted to throw in another question and throw off the whole thing, so. Yes. Uh, 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 Normally uh, I prepare for questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well now you're not prepared. Why don't you so sit so low this should be us. <laughs> so we low. Should, we should lower oh, ourselves to, higher, to Paul's level. I know. There we go. Lower myself. <laughs> And I Have I ever used, used both? Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easiest answer ever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I really have. Do you have two separate headphone jacks? Is that well? The plug-ins. One is for singing <gasps> microphone that we use on your cab, and the other one's for direct in. I'm Italian. <laughs> Talk with my hands. <laughs> well, he said headphone jacks, not input jacks. The focus right doesn't have headphone jacks. Does it? <laughs> you gotta look on the so back. So apparently the answer is no. Actually, my bad. <laughs> uh, input. Did you say headfoot or input? Headphone. Headphone jacks. Headphone jacks. Why would you need headphone more than one? Headphone jacks. Maybe if you got two people recording at the same time. You know, we used to have that headphone splitter that we used. So I can hear use. my part and you can hear yours. And I can cover mine when I'm singing so I don't have to hear. Mm -hmm. yes. So we could look like we're and recording. Both, you know, so both headphones jacks on your focus right. 
Yes. I didn't even know I had them, honestly. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Um, he probably saw the vlog where we were recording at your house. Mm. We, uh, mm. no, we, we actually, when we record, listen to it through the JBLs. My neck. Uh. My back. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> my beard. It, yeah. Uh, my yeah. Netflix and my snacks. <laughs> um, family friendly. Yeah. I was family friendly. It mm-hmm. was. You edited that. I did. Um, no, man, I didn't, I gotta go home and look now. <laughs> You might as well stay here because the next question is the actual question. Okay. So okay. I, might be re- I might be ready for this one. Okay. Now you're going to go home and look at your focus right and see if it has two headphone jacks on the back. Uh, next question. Just fun guitar. Some new questions. One, do you like Clutch? They are, again, one of my favorite U.S. bands. I thought he was talking about G.I. Joe. <laughs> Clutch, the G.I. Joe? Not my favorite G.I. Joe. <laughs> He's in the middle. I think the first Joe I ever owned was Clutch. Maybe. Was he, was he a driver for a vehicle? He was. Okay, I didn't he have had a beard. <gasps> I never owned Clutch. I had just the, the plain Jane, like, I grunt guy. guy. Not grunt, but grunt. Not it, grunt, grunt, the actual like character. It. But just a dude, just green and a gun. Like, nobody cool. Mm-hmm. Just a plain was Joe. Grunt. Was it? Yeah, he wore all... Well, they okay. all wore just green. They all had the same face. And the helmet too. with yeah. a little visor. The visor, out. the one that came with the little mortar thing was... With the <sighs> visor was short fuse. Short fuse. Yeah. That's, that was my first Joe. Mine was Dial Tone, and I stole him out of someone's yard. He <laughs> stole I, Yeah, I knew it. it okay. Let me, Accidentally or on purpose? I was walking back from junior high. Not junior high. Elementary. And there was some... Um, He's a clap toe. Toy. <laughs> I took something for it. <laughs> uh, and it was in the dirt. I picked it up, and it was Dial Tone. Maybe that's why I have such fascination. You have a Dial Tone obsession. Yeah. Yes. Grunt was my first That name. he's Italian. Is he? Yeah. Uh, he is. He is. The mustache. It even says it on his title <clears throat> card. Uh, well, no. I just talked about the band Clutch, which we've actually had this question before. I don't know if it was Just Fun Guitar or uh, uh, who were we just talking about? You were talking about earlier. I don't know. One of the other commenters. Um, I'm not a big fan you know, not that there's anything wrong with them. It's not, they don't suck or they're not terrible. <laughs> it's like, I went ahead and go and listen to a bunch of their songs. I'm like, you know, I want to like them. Because they kind of got, you know, Singer had a pretty good beard for a while. Like, you know, not not as good as mine, but he had a pretty good with beard. I like the band because of their facial hair. not the Yeah. Beard. And uh, they kind of had this sort of southerny rock thing, but not like redneck southern rock. It was like... So I, I kind of liked what they were doing, you know, and I was like, mm, but they didn't really just, yeah, I mean, I love them. So they're, they're okay for me. They're amazing for other people and that's fine. <laughs> Never want to offend people. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with. Everybody has their own individual yeah. taste. Yeah. <laughs> I like Metallica and if you hate Metallica, that's okay. They're overrated. Shh. You're not Okay. Um, so no. I'm not, I'm not a mega, <laughs> I'm not a I mega. I thought you rubbed his leg. I was like, what? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Hey, hey there. <laughs> You're okay, Paul. And that's my cute answer. That does what it looks like. I mean, he's like, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm like, right. <laughs> it's my nervous. I'm like, yes. I'm trying not to punch he you. He does this. Because you don't like he Metallica. Yeah. Angela, do you like Metallica? Don't you ever take the I name do. of Metallica. I do like Metallica. Yeah. yeah. While we're married, just not as much as. Boy. No, I remember the story of you saying you didn't like them as much, or Ryan was upset because you didn't like them as much. I've grown to lo- like them, not love them, but like them. Tolerate. I them. can appreciate. They're the most okay heavy metal band ever. Yes, I can appreciate their longevity. And the richest. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Next question, just fun guitar, same. Number two, in the Transformers fandom, there's a lot of arguments on if Rumble is red and Frenzy is blue, or the other way around, as the cartoon and comics switched it a bit uh, with the toys. What say you? Hmm. Um, I had to go look it up because I couldn't remember which one was Rumble. I'm like, which one was Rumble? I, you know. When it comes to questions like this. Not fans! <laughs> what? You aren't a fan if you didn't know. Oh. Well, like, you're not a fan. Awkward pause. 
album 2019. All right. So, <laughs> me and Paul were just talking about this before. I said, there's a question about a Transformer and what color they are and cuz it's different and I'm like I'm like whatever color they were in the cartoon is what color they are. And so I had to go look at Rumble is blue. blue. Rumble is blue. And the way I look at it is what came first? The chicken or the egg? No. Rumble. Well, no. I, I the, the animated cartoon had to have come first. I think whatever comes first, like comic books wise or cartoon, which I believe Transformers the cartoon came out first, he was blue. So he was blue. Why change it? And Frenzy was red. Just Frenzy was, to red. Drive Frenzy was black and red like a Sith. He was. Lord. But he was the unliked one. Was he? He really didn't have as much interaction with the <laughs> other one as a uh, Rumble. Let me go. And we, know, let me go shake the ground and all these metal machines just go. <laughs> but we both agreed that Laserbeak and Ravage were both way cooler than Rumble and Frenzy. Yes. And Angela hasn't said much. I had Laserbeak. Oh, wait, I had Ravage. I liked Laserbeak better than Ravage because Ravage just turned into a tape with legs. I don't think I actually ever had Soundwave. But you could buy the you could buy the little separate blister packs. Of yeah, the little because yeah. <laughs> I can afford those. If I'd have found a sound wave laying in the dirt in somebody's yard, I might have taken it. Mm-hmm. But I didn't. I was not. I think way. I did that too. <laughs> uh, so yeah, whatever it was in the comic, yeah. uh, comic, the cartoon, cartoon, what whatever comes first, I would go by that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, third question from Just Fun Guitar: If you had to give up one of these, which would it be? Wine, burgers, or cakes? Oh, that's easy. Happy New Year. Hashtag keep the music alive. That's yeah, so that was easy. that's pretty easy for Angela. What would, what would you give up? Wine. What? <laughs> yes. Me too. Yes, because I've been more burger wa- cake wasted than I've ever been wine wasted. <laughs> I've been cake wasted so many times. So many times. Did you guys drink that wine? Oh, no. no. No, not yet. Not yet. It's still chilly. It's too much sugar. It's, <laughs> it's high carb. It's fruit. Is it? It's grapes. But yeah, I love me some burgers. <laughs> I couldn't give up burgers. All day long. We, I love certain cakes. Certain cake. What would you give up? What do you think? Cake. Cake. Oh yeah, yeah. Duh. You hate cake. <laughs> he On my okay. birthday, they will not give me a cake. Because he's weird. Paul doesn't eat cake, mm-hmm. so that's an easy one for him. I like pies. He does, however, drink wine. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? True. I thought I was waiting for you to bring up the the bedroom reference. Oh. <laughs> That's just between us, Paul. <laughs> you walk by, see the side of my bed, nothing but wine glasses. Um, we were recording guitars, and I had to go get something out of his room. I'm like, you got two empty wine glasses on the floor next to your bed. He's like, shut up. <laughs> Maybe I was having a romantic evening with someone. I was like, oh. no. I was like, it was Love me. Gl- <laughs> I was like, you got empty wine glasses in your fuck? bedroom. It was good. Whatever. That's good. Uh, for us... We don't really drink wine. We're like Dracula. I don't drink wine uh, much. Wait, Dracula doesn't drink wine? Yeah, it's a famous line from one of his movies. I don't drink wine. Wine. From, I don't know. Rob Strokers? One of them somewhere. Way back there. Shows how much you know your horror movie history. Oh, at least my vampires don't glitter. No Sparatu. No (laughs) Sparatu. He does drink blood, however. Um, so giving up wine would be super easy. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Gotta have me some burgers though. Yeah. And I, I do like burger. cake. And Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Wrong question. Wine, well, sweet burgers, tea, cake. Or super or even easy. unsweet tea. I give up sweet tea to heartbeat. Because yeah. I'm not Texan. I have given Damn up sweet tea. Body. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now. It's like now. diabetes. Let me it. tell you something <laughs> right now. <laughs> So anyway, diabetes, unsweet tea. I'll have all the unsweet tea, please. Thank you. Let's avoid the, Let's the avoid D train. This. Yes. Uh, no, hashtag not KT. Good. Right. Okay. Uh, next question. RT Smudge. Great video, as always. Thank you. Quick, silly question. I'm not judging at all here, honestly. I don't believe that. I think if you have to start your <laughs> question with, protest. I'm not judging. <laughs> But you are. You're judging. Am I right in thinking that there are not many vegetarians in Texas? <laughs> I'm judging you right well, now. Well, <laughs> I think if you're in Austin, there's probably a lot of vegetarians. Mm-hmm. Central yeah. Dallas. 
Yeah, there are places where those probably there's not those so kind of people congregate. Vegan restaurants. A lot of yeah. A yeah, lot no of eats. in Houston, maybe not so much. In the <laughs> more metropolitan areas. Houstonians. Houstons. In the country we like our meat. Yeah. We like our yeah. protein from animal sources. Yeah. And if you can't buy it at the store, we'll go kill it. To the yeah. point where it was that place that pig that's slaughter pigs place that was near the house. <laughs> Red's Red, Red slaughter. slaughter. On the way to Paul's Old house. former house. <laughs> the sign? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't. It says uh, Red Slaughter Farm. You can't beat our meat. <laughs> you cannot. You just killed a massive hog. I live there. Take I don't it know. to Red's. They'll process it for you. I don't know how many times I, how many years I lived there, but I giggled every time I saw yeah, it. We did too when we went to visit. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> Red's going to Paul's. Red's Meat Farm. You can't beat meat our meat. meat. Yeah, kill, kill you a deer. You need to process. Well, it'd be hilarious if Reds. Reds was like this older guy and he had no idea what it. Now, if it was a younger guy, you know, yeah, he had he knew, but it was like an good. older gentleman. He probably had no idea because he was like, yeah, it's true. And then yeah. every time we talked to him, he was like, no, seriously, you can't beat my meat. Our our meat is the best. <laughs> you can't beat it. You can't at all. Good to know. We're like that's Red. it. No, I don't think you understand. <laughs> it's like, it's like I, a running I don't joke. Want to. Hey, I don't I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to understand. I trust Red. you. It's great. Thanks, Red. Yeah. Uh, Take your word there's for probably it. less vegetarians and vegans in Texas than there are in, say, I don't know, California. I know more or vegan people than I thought I would. I think just even just outside of Texas has more. <laughs> yeah. You just, you, you know, it's just Texas. Yeah, we got a large number of people who like to, you know, yeah. Kill, kill their own. We like we like to do clean some, their own. We and... like to do some killing here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if the apocalypse happens, yeah. we're surviving. And their children <laughs> will kill their own. Um, what was that yeah. show we used to watch? I don't know what you went off. It sounded like you said if we'll kill our children. <laughs> yeah, the children. Children. Have children. To kill, the the children. children. <laughs> That's what we call them in Texas. Um, but we have. I have a friend that they they have a deep freeze in their garage, and every shelf is from each of their kills. So it's like their little kids. We like to kill our dad, own meat, and they kill their own meat, and they. She's like, oh yeah, there's little Susie's deer she caught killed this past hunting yeah, season. Yeah, a friend last week. The kids like ate. He gutted his first deer today. And I was like, cool. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Skills. <laughs> we started me on. Some people go to the grocery store to buy meat. We go to the woods. We go to the backyard. Kill it. The backyard. Kill it. Sit on the porch. <laughs> Sit on the back porch with our AR-15s. <laughs> Killing us some dinner. Rebel flags. Yes. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Got me a good one. Yeah, funny thing about stereotypes is because they, they they're based from, on reality. Yeah, it's like I cannot honestly say that. Yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure, sure I, I know friend, people who are. I like know that. a friend named Earl. <laughs> you have a friend named Earl. <laughs> they don't have teeth, and they chew tobacco. <laughs> oh, I know. It teeth. happens. It happens <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are some. Maybe West Virginia. No, I don't know how many. There's like 26 million people in Texas. Remember, you could fit Europe inside of Texas and still yeah, have a lot of room. <laughs> yeah. 26 million people mm-hmm. in Texas. I mean, there's only like 30 million people in the UK or something like that. Mm-hmm. And like, it's just or in Texas. Australia. It's not oh, yeah. We're, we, yeah. More there's as many people in Texas as there is Australia. Although Australia mm-hmm. is bigger than Texas. Quite a bit. The smidge. They got bigger snakes. I won't smidge. Worry. Yeah, they and got spiders. They got crocs and great. I don't mind us spiders and crocs. Snakes. Not their spiders. You know koalas. Their are spiders like drive cars. Super dangerous. I'd rather get mauled by a koala. Yep. And, and their snake. claws are like. I wouldn't admit to that. I would uh, I'd be like, oh no, <laughs> teddy bear is killing me. Oh, it's so cute though. Instead of a big old fang snake, look how like, eat you. They're like stoners. <laughs> the, the eucalyptus is like the eucalyptus weed. Leaves. And if they don't eat their weed, they get, cranky. they get real mad, and they would like yell, and they would like attack you. I don't so know you, if you, have any you see the video of the there, guy that was trying to late. save the the koala in the river? We were watching it, uh, and they were like, "Be careful, mate!" And he's just like job, barely mate. hanging on to his his life, and he's just like barely like trying to grab him. They're like, "Be careful, mate! Be careful! He'll get you! He'll get you real good!" Like <laughs> they're really serious about getting this koala out of the river. 
Yeah. Did you see? Can, they're like, like Wolverine. Claw you to death. Did you see the the workers rescue the dog that was wrapped up in this huge snake? Nope. No. Yeah. I well, I don't that. know why I watched it. But I I why would you watch it? I'm like, you're frightened of snakes. It's like, did you see the video of the shark who had like a guy hanging out of his mouth? <laughs> no, Ryan. Why would you watch it? I watched that? the video. <laughs> You remember I Vishal? You got to know your enemy. Vishal Patel? Yeah, I remember Vishal. So him and his sons went out in the ocean, and they were in a cage underwater looking at sharks. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. And I watched it. I'm like, what? And there was a big shark, right? I'm oh, like, I'm searching for the great white shark. I'm like, what are you doing? And it, somebody said, oh, it must have been peace. He's like, no, because the ocean was really rough, so they were actually getting slung around inside of the cage. because nope. cause, And their arms and legs would go out of the cage. Nope. I'm like, no. I'm like, Well, why? don't you think if a shark went out to bite it, no. Ocean's way better. The shark will be going, ha, ha, ha. No, and sharks and have this. really good balance in the water. Because they're not humans. <coughs> Buoyancy or, or balance? Makes me want to see Aquaman again. All of it. Oh, yeah. Next that, question. That's why you want to see Aquaman. Next <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> For the sharks. Yeah, the sharks. And the biceps. <laughs> the sharks. traps. Yeah, we'll 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 check sharks. out these fins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who was that? Did I say it was cute? Who was better than the redhead chick? Uh, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman was so down. pretty in that movie. She did a good job. Good Keep job. Keep it up, girl. CGI. <laughs> if you watch this, you did great. Girl. I'm single. Call me. Yeah, call Paul, <laughs> Nicole. I don't think Keith would like that. <laughs> Who? Her husband, Keith Urban. <laughs> he taught him. She doesn't. He doesn't care. He doesn't. Uh, <laughs> next question. Stephen Holt, Angela, have you ever tried salted licorice from Denmark? Stephen, I haven't. No, but I'm really interested. <laughs> yeah, we got some friends. Anybody yeah. from Denmark watching want to send us some salted is it, licorice? Is it black licorice or red? Yeah, licorice? if it's black licorice, how dare you, sir? Yeah, don't pass. No. But I said, salt. how dare you? But with salt. <laughs> no. Mm. If it's yeah. like salted caramel, I'm in. <laughs> But if it's salty. It's like salted french fries. <laughs> salted I'm in. Animals. I've got you. <laughs> but it's like salted bacon. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely oh, in. Oh, gosh. Pepper bacon. Yes. If, you know, <laughs> you ever tried pepper pork? licorice? Pepper yeah. licorice. But no, if it's like cherry or strawberry, I'm in. Mm. I, I don't, I've had grape licorice. And it's Ooh, pretty good. Hey. I've had chocolate licorice. I'm not a fan of chocolate, no. so it wasn't that great. Mm. Grape remind you of wine? It. I wonder what grape wine licorice. would fit with chocolate licorice. Mm. Uh, it remind me of grape mm. soda. Maybe a Without red choice. wine. Uh, red wine's soda. always good with chocolate. Red so. wine's good. I want some grape soda now, Paul. <laughs> He's just like, period. <laughs> yeah. That was the sentence. Red wine is good. <laughs> Any That's sweet it. red wine, yeah. Hashtag red wine is good. Uh, so, no, I have not tasted it, but I would like to if it's not black. Yeah. <laughs> licorice <Noble>. racist. <laughs> yes. I am so... You licorice bigot. <laughs> <laughs> no black licorice here. They're not yes. welcome here. Black licorice. Yeah. No, uh, I, ca I can't do the black licorice. It just makes me just want to just... Barf? Yeah. No. That's even the thought of it. It makes you do that face once you put it in your mouth. You're kind of like... Why? Why, God? Why? God. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> then you need yes. the red wine to get rid of it. It's like at, at Easter, whenever you would get a, like jelly beans in your Easter basket. And you like grab all of them and just start just pop them in your mouth and chew them. And then you hit that black licorice. And, and it it's just like... Overpowers the rest of them. Yeah. Those aren't Skittles. Like, you're popping Wash your here. mouth out with a chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> Bad times. There you go, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> next question. Slowpoke1100. <laughs> what do you think of Ernie Ball strap lock? I've never tried them. So what do you think of them? What do you think? You tell us. Uh, so I don't know. Never tried them. I have, for the longest time, <laughs> I've always used the Dunlop dual design strap time. locks. I, I've got some of those on my Gibson Explorer that have been there since the 90s. The 90s, which happened a couple of decades ago, and uh, oh, that's, not that's, a problem. That's depressing. Weird. I still have that same original set of strap locks I put on that back in. That I was you were 17, so probably 17 years old. So, so 93? 93-ish. 93. 2-ish. <laughs> 93... <gasps> How many years ago was that? I don't know. It was a while, but they're great. 
And I've used, for the most part, I've used... Um, 93 was 26 years ago. Was it? Okay. I don't know. I'm not thinking about math at the moment. My brain's... I'm thinking about strap locks. babies are close I'm not to turning today. 30. I'm not... Yeah. That's... I've already mathed earlier today. Now I'm thinking about strap locks. Um, yeah. I've only ever used those. I never mm -hmm. did care for the shawl or strap locks very much. Just something about the way they were built. They seemed like they were too, like, long. Mm -hmm. Like, too bulky. Mm -hmm. Whereas the, um, the Dunlops were a little bit more compact. And I really like the Daria ones right now. Uh, but I still love the Dunlops too, so... Never tried them. If Ernie Ball wants to send me some strap locks to test, that would be fine. I doubt they're going to. Yeah, Because I talk smack, smack about, about their strings. strings. But to be fair, their strings broke on me a lot. And it wasn't the guitar, because as soon as I switched brands, same guitar, I didn't have breakage issues. Mm -hmm. Could have just been a bad batch way back then, but who knows. They do have some pretty sweet guitars, though. So I do like Ernie Ball guitars. They're pretty awesome. Hmm. Didn't know that. Yeah. Didn't know they made guitars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robbie has an Ernie Ball bass. It's super awesome. Yeah. Their USA guitars and basses are like off the chizam. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Driddle. <laughs> to be candid, I haven't watched far enough, but I see the timestamp. I didn't like the lav mics, which, which is a more accurate representation of your voices. So we're talking about lavalier mics. Mm -hmm. I haven't. I Versus bought some the... and I tested them, and then I kind of gave up on them. <laughs> right, right, sure, sure. Because I just couldn't get them positioned appropriately to get the sound that I I wanted. That's so, uh, which one's more accurate? Mm -hmm. Probably, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, the... I didn't listen to the one with our. <laughs> People... I thought he was talking about now. I was like, well, you know what? We just had this conversation and. I see my voice as nasally and slurried, like I'm drunk all the time. <laughs> slurried. <laughs> that is a perfect representation it's... of your voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're nasally. You sound drunk all the time. <laughs> yes, he has a nasally any... drunk. You'll have wine later. Yes. Uh, wine later. Uh, people seem to like the shotgun mic though, because yes, there's a little bit of sound um, road noise. Bang. What's up with that? But bang? there's a little more room <laughs> noise. No, I can't go there. <laughs> so it sounds kind of. Yeah. normal like you're here like if you were here you would be hearing the room noise that we hear so right like I guess, that yeah like somebody's big old texas truck <laughs> carrying some meat to reds to be processed because <laughs> you can't beat his meat <laughs> not even if you try uh so probably probably the video mic pro i would say is probably the most probably the most accurate but I like the clarity of the lav mics but the excess noise from the beardage or the moving and it Mm -hmm. yeah. Your beard makes noise yeah, when it rubs on the microphone. Oh, I thought <laughs> it mocks us all quietly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Late at night, <laughs> you don't have a beard. You're awake. <laughs> you wish you had a beard. No, I don't. <laughs> That's one thing I never regret. Is I wish you had a beard. That would be. I'd had a beard like within two hours. It was not nice, so man. lucky. You're blessed. You're hashtag blessed with a beard. And you threw it all away. Threw it all away. You lasered it all away. I did. <laughs> Saved a lot of money and time, too. <laughs> right. Anyways. Um, next question. And final question. Metallica29. Mm -hmm. Are you going to the Alamo City Guitar Bazaar? I think it's Metallica A29. Metallica. Because he has it's, capital it's A. a. What's well, to emphasize the A? Well, then it would be A Metallica, A. but it's Metallica, no, like Metallica, Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> He's Italian, Metallica, ninety nine, twenty nine. Uh, <laughs> are you going to the Alamo City Guitar Bazaar in San Antonio in February? Robot Monster Guitars is leading the show downtown. Love the videos. Um, I wasn't planning on it. Metallica 29. But yeah, the name yeah, yeah. Alamo City Guitar Bazaar. <laughs> it sounds awesome. It's like, I should maybe go to that. I've never heard of it. Um, mm -mm. I've heard of, you know, the big show, I guess, in Texas is probably, you know, the Arlington. Well, no, no, no. The Dallas, Dallas International Guitar Festival. I was going to say. The De or commonly referred to as the Dallas Guitar Show. Or the Guitar Show. Hey, you going to the Guitar Show this weekend? Yeah. Because we know. 
And there's the one in Arlington, but the, the one in Arlington is a little bit... Actually, it's not in Arlington anymore. They moved it to Fort Worth, which is weird. And they changed the name. Hey, Fort Worth. They're like, hey, you're going to go to the Arlington Guitar Show? It's in Fort Worth this year. Like, hey, Fort Worth. Yeah, it's, I forget they changed it. Uh, No, probably not. It's a long drive to San Antonio for it six is. hours. It's, yes, it is. It's a bit of a scoot down the road to get to... It's only to two a, hours away are my parents. San Antonio. <laughs> Two hours after that. I like San Antonio. I like San Antonio. Antonio. It's a cool town. It's neat. I like how it kind of spread out. It's not so condensed. When you drive through it, you don't feel like you're just on, everything's on top of you. Like when you go through San, um, Austin, mm. it feels like everything is just like towered. It's all, cl- Austin's all, it's just like clumped right up. Right there. It's but a cluster. San Antonio is nice and just evenly dispersed. I think the, uh, the building and architectural stuff in San Antonio is better. Also. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of history. It's real yeah. pretty buildings yeah. and churches. And, and stuff. they got the Spurs. No, I don't, yeah, know. I don't know. I don't watch. And old churches and stuff. It's really <laughs> yeah. pretty. And they got the Houston Texans. Oh, wait. And Ozzy peed there. And Ozzy <laughs> peed on the Alamo. Yes. I don't, I don't know. He wasn't banned from Texas. He, he was banned from San Antonio. Well, well no, they no, lifted that ban a couple years Texas. ago. Did they? <laughs> yeah. Well. <clears throat> I like the river walk. Rear Rocks oh nice. yeah. yeah there's a, a Mexican food restaurant down there that has mariachis and they'll come and play as your dinner while you're mm-hmm. sitting there and they have good Mexican food <laughs> oh that pissed me off we like trying to talk and eat and they're like ay, 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 ay. <laughs> so they'll play real soft like really pretty music and it's gorgeous <laughs> you go. can you it. play some Metallica I'm sure they could actually awesome. we'd probably go can I is that a bass can I borrow can I that, borrow that? <laughs> can I play can I play with you yeah. can I sing with you <laughs> So I, I'm not planning on going. I'll, I'll may have to look it up if it's a big deal. You yes, know, we haven't been to San Antonio together. We've been through San Antonio, yeah. but not like actually in San Antonio since we went to the teachers. So when I went to the TMEA, Texas Music. It was Texas Bandmasters Association TBA <laughs> for all the band records, but, but also the Texas Music Educators Association, the mm-hmm. TMEA for all mm-hmm. the music educators, is hosted in San Antonio. Mm-hmm. So is the Texas Bandmasters yeah. Association, and that was in 2002. two thousand and two. Nicholas was two years old. Oh gosh, I haven't been there in uh, two months. <laughs> Paul goes there all the time. I have to work there every <clears throat> once in a while. Yeah, he, yeah. Paul is a, a jet setter around Texas. Mm-hmm. He yes. travels all over the, the Tejas. Mm-hmm. Well, to Dallas and San Antonio. My nose whistle. Sorry. <laughs> It wasn't even a tune. <laughs> no, I can't, get it. can't even do it again. <laughs> Play the nose solo. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that is all the questions for this week. Uh, you know what we didn't talk about? Ike Denver, Flipside <laughs> Music. You know where I got my Colorado Rockies hat? <laughs> it's not that I'm a big fan of the Colorado Rockies because. I mean, the team. The mountains are awesome. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the Colorado. <laughs> Colorado. You know, I'm yes. a big fan of the Rocky Mountains. Yes. But the baseball team, the Colorado Rockies, I don't really give I mean, much thought do to. Do you watch sports? No. <laughs> but we were in Denver visiting, and mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I need a souvenir. I got I need, a shot glass. Well, we I got, need got something. We Aiden. Did we? Yes. I thought Aiden's. we got it. For, oh. Yeah. That's so that's Aiden's. your son's hat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He never wears it. I know because you don't think he ever wears hats. It. Does he ever wear hats? Yeah, he does. No, Sometimes. No, no, no. He looks good in hats. He does. Yeah. But we got this Colorado Rockies hat when we were in uh, Denver visiting Ike from Flipside Music in Denver, Colorado. Shameless plug. He's Again. Gonna, he's going to bribe us with some Flipside Music t shirts. Yes. Oh, dang it. That was supposed to be a surprise. Stupid. Oh my God! <laughs> That's why I asked you the other day. You sound like Janice. <laughs> hey? Janice uh, from Friends. Oh, I was just—that's my. I don't do well with surprises. Oh my God! I told you I sounded nasally. <laughs> that was me. Oh my God, Ryan! That's my acting surprise voice. Uh, oh, that's why I asked you like the other day. I was like, "Hey, what's that?" I, I figured I'd be getting a shirt. I mean. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chandler Bain. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he texted me. He's like, hey, man, you want one of our new shirts that we were talking about on our video? And I'm like, yeah, Angela said I could have one. So I will, uh, I need two. I need a normal size one and a slightly and a smaller one. one for me because I'm losing weight. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I am losing weight. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. I barely noticed the 14 pounds down. I'm proud of you. You know I am. I know you are. We I've been cooking before. hard for you, Mr. Man. I know you, know you have. That. Okay. Yes, you have. <laughs> my, my fridge is empty. Well, go buy some groceries. I don't know what good for you to eat. I have spaghetti sauce in my fridge. That's a good thing. Yeah, milk. <laughs> don't put that. That's literally. If you haven't, that's all that's in my refrigerator. And I will go over there and he's like, you know, I have. You can, you want I anything have some meat? water. He's like, I have some. I have some water. Box wine and some cereal. And, yeah. Oh, and I have peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> like, some peanut butter, the box wine. It's some funny because it's all true. Uh, why waste all that room in that massive fridge by filling it with things? When it could just sit. I literally and a frozen didn't. pizza. You usually have a frozen no, pizza. No, I always order pizza, pizza fresh. Yeah. I don't like fresh it. pizza. It's got to be a fresh. <laughs> he doesn't even do delivery anymore. He goes and picks it up. It's seven dollars for a mile. Yeah. You can I scooch over there real quick. That's why I said it's like eight dollars for me to go pick it up. And deliver is like sixteen dollars. Pick that sucker Let's up, man. Pick it up. Not yet. Yeah. Pick it up while now it's I want some pizza. I ordered pizza and he's like I go, my pizza's ready. He's like, you're going to go get it? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, it's a mile down this? the road. Literally. Are you a, a mile? Like a savage or something? <laughs> what is <laughs> Rich people don't go pick up their pizza. Uh, rich Poor people go pick up their like pizza. You. <laughs> He's like, I'm rich in friendship. I'm going to save some money on my pizza. I ain't uh, paying double for Domino's. We're like, how do you say it? How, how can you afford this? I pick up my own pizza. <laughs> That's right. That's why. That's how I can afford to buy bass strings once a year. Yeah. And you too can live a life like me and pick up your own pizza. <laughs> you too can be happy. <laughs> yeah. Where the things to know was it? The more you know, the knowledge star. <laughs> no, he's half the battle. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Remember when every that... <laughs> NBC celebrity was on those? Like every single one, if they were on a show. I don't even remember what they said. The only thing I remember about it like, is the shooting star. Have you the had more your you know. prostate exam? It's really important at this age. I have. The more you know. <laughs> Ta -da. No, I haven't. Really. <laughs> <laughs> that was acting. That's what, that's what they would say. Little things like that. I was like, what? Yeah, that's what? like the end what of the GI Joe cartoon. Just GI. Watch. No, GI Joe was. Educational, yeah. so is prostate. I mean, the, you go up to a dog, yeah. and mutt will come out. Don't touch the dog. Yeah, junk. Yeah, it was junkyard. Mutt. It was the dog. Junkyard was the dog. Yeah, yeah. mutt was the guy. Yeah. The handler. He's like, you don't know where the dog's been. Of course, the, the people who do, wow. do those overdubs are hilarious. Yeah, pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> pork chop sandwiches. My favorite two were the Boy, house that was up. burning. The house that was burning, and the kid had to escape. And the power lines are down because Parky was in it. And, no, uh, power lines was roadblock. Roadblock. And so they were sitting there and he, he was like, he, he walked up and he was like, hey kids, do you know how to get out of, <laughs> out of the house? What? They're like, come on, hurry. And he gets them out of the house. They're like, you should have a safety. Uh, you should have an exit, strategy. exit strategy. A plan for your family. Now we know. And know what's happening. Know what I, like, about. I like the one Snake House was in and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> this is how you act in a library <laughs> and the kids are like hey, 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 is, he, is, he, is he saying something kids are being loud in the library and Snake Eyes was like with his, with his sword I'm sorry but if you're a kid and a guy comes up dressed in skin tight I mean he's not commando pants but skin tight black suit and a sword and a mask and just goes and grenades it doesn't say anything because he can't talk just I don't think I would stick around. <laughs> I wish Snake Eyes I had this. Snake Snake, Eyes he had the no American loitering. Language. He had the no loitering warning. And kids are loitering. He just comes up and like, we gotta go. No, <laughs> and no, he's half the battle. <laughs> All right. If you have a question like, for next week, what? 
Because he had the thing over his throat. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you were, you were <laughs> in the big old... Like the f- yeah, yeah. You just see a mouth one. <laughs> Underneath. <laughs> he can break dance, though. He can. Like what? It's a cold slither. Ninjas know how to break dance like crazy. Okay. The next question before we ramble on some more. Uh, ne- not next no, I was like, next week, if you have a question, leave it below. That's we, mine. We will try to answer. Sorry. Because you're cool. You're the coolest. I want to be cool, too. <laughs> and we will try to answer your questions next week. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. If you want an RNA Music shirt, because people have been buying them, there's yes. a link in the description for an RNA Music and our Teespring. If you want a Bitter Bass shirt, there's a link in the bottom. You can go buy a Bitter Bass Man t-shirt. But take a picture of yourself in either shirt so we know when you purchase them and we can see them yeah. on Send you. Send it to us on Facebook. And you'll get a spot on one of our Ask Our Names. With a little shout out. Yeah. Send me your pictures. Do I get a spot if I wear my own shirt? Sure. sure. Is it shameless self-promotion wearing my own shirts? No. Yours I, is a business. Mine I is do just, it all the time. It's me. Mm-hmm. Hey, everybody. Check me out. Who's the Bitter Basement? This guy. I was wearing my Bitter Basement <laughs> shirt when BBM. I was working out the other day. <laughs> hashtag BBM. Do not look. Do not hashtag BBM. <laughs> do not. <laughs> Warning you now. I am not responsible for anything that pops up on your phone. <laughs> it's hashtag bitter base man. That is not child, child friendly. BBM no. is not safe for work. No, it's no. Not. Bitter base man. NSFW. Is mildly safe for work. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next <laughs> video. So excited. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. You need the music. And we need to keep it alive. For Paul. bitter bass players of all ages, and I need a job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> music job. A music job. Yeah. Uh, for the next generation. Yes. Make all so the people. Engage. All the Star Trek. Nerds. Don't you know children are our future? Mm. Are they? Yeah, some yeah. of them are. They're not our future. The future's, the future's bright. That's their own future. Our future's already made. We're gonna be old, retired, and. Children ain't my future. No, they still want whippersnappers. I think it's wrong. I thought you were about to be like, you're Japanese. Oh, did he do the open whippersnappers? I don't know. Is that a children thing? I don't know. I was like, I, I was going. I, I was doing my old man grumpy voice singing. Old said man children what? grumpy. What? <laughs> Japanese Why are you? That's scary. <laughs> you guys want to get pizza? I no. Do. Oh, low carbs, man. Can I, can I take your wife out to get pizza? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make some uh, cauliflower crust pizza. Yeah. Or something. Almond crust. That's so many kinds of wrong. Have you tried it? <laughs> He's like, I don't want oh, to. Why, why would you? Why would you? It's not I'll, bread. I'll have pizza again someday. All someday. right. We got to go. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Peace. So excited. Two and two. Check you later. <laughs> so 90s. Oh, so, I miss so the 90s. 90s. I do too.